These four individuals in particular were the most influential people in my life in the field of mycology. Dr. Daniel Stuntz from the University of Washington, Dr. Alexander Smith from the University of Michigan, Kent Skates from Post Falls, Idaho, and Dr. Michael Buke from the Evergreen State College. These three individuals have now passed on. I met them when I was around 19 years of age, and these two individuals in particular were what you would describe today as being politically conservative, you do slight non-exaggeration. Um, all the more interesting that they adopted me when I was 19 or 20 years of age because this is what I look like. <laughs> Most of your suspicions are now confirmed. <laughs> so let's go back to 7,000 years ago. In the northern Algeria, in Algeria, in the, the plateau known as the Sicilian Anjar Plateau, was translated as a plateau of running, running rivers. This interesting figure was found as a pictograph in a labyrinthine cave complex. And the a group of researchers traveled by Camelback in 1947, Yamaguchi and Lahot are the two primary individuals. And they went to this cave complex where thousands of pictographs were reported to be present. And since it was called the Plateau of Burning Rivers, they thought for sure they'd find water. But the water uh, could not be found. It's incredibly scarce. The Sahara Desert had encroached over the thousands of years. And so the plateau of running rivers, the riverbeds were all dry. They realized very quickly that they needed water and they needed to find it soon. And they sent a scout deep into the labyrinthine cave complex, a small framed man, and as when you were thirsty, you can smell water. And he went further and deeper and deeper into the cave complex. And the story goes, he raised a lantern into a cavernous room. And there was a spring of water there. And he almost dropped his lantern in fright when he saw the seven-foot figure etched onto the wall. Now, this is important to describe what happened subsequently. Even though that I've read four scientific research articles where this figure has been reproduced, not a single scientist had the courage to dare speculate what the artist intended to communicate. This is an example of mycophobia in the end in the academic realm, the irrational fear of fungi. Obviously, the artist was very excited about mushrooms. <laughs> Why did they say that? It's because they didn't want to be ridiculed. Mushrooms have been placed into a category in our society because of mycophobia, where they uh, invoke uh, skepticism, bad jokes. You've heard them all. Please don't tell me any. Um, and I, but I think this is also quite normal. When you look at the temporal exposure window that you have with plants or with trees or with animals, your exposure window is much longer than that with most mushrooms. Mushrooms come up usually and disappear in a few days. So your experiential window is so short that for you to understand and grasp their potential in such a limited amount of time, it's natural for us to fear that we don't understand. Because from a survival point of view, oftentimes that's the best, the, the best way to go. So, uh, numerous articles have been published since then. The, the, you know, I think this reflects the use of magic mushrooms and putting magic mushrooms into honey. It's been a long-standing uh, tradition in many societies throughout the world. We may never know. And so we advance forward to about 2,500 uh, uh, years ago. And this, is, this speaks to the origination myth of, uh, of the seasons, uh, where Demeter is giving Persephone a mushroom. And uh, in Greek mythology, Hades seduces Persephone by giving her a quote unquote purple flower, bad translation. And then she is seduced into the underworld. The reader then asks uh, Zeus, Where's my daughter? Well, I don't know, says Zeus. Uh, she finds out that Hades and Zeus agreed to have her daughter seduced. This is how the myth goes. And then the Demeter was very upset, chilled the earth, and that was the onset of winter. When she returned, disguised as a broken old lady, and she was met by a kind villager given water and food. She thought, ah, maybe these people are worth saving. And so they came to an agreement where Persephone would rise up from the end of the world, and that was the birth of spring. So the use of mushrooms historically goes back very, very deep 